Hey foodies, welcome to Cooking Shaking. A lot of you guys have been asking me for a Franky recipe. Today, let's make one. Franky and Kathi roll are much like donor kebabs and shawamas, I must say. You know the joke what I'm talking about right now. Uh, Franky was invented much later than Kathi roll. I remember it's like 37, 38 years later. At the end of the day, we all love Franky, don't we? So let's begin making a very simple and easy recipe of a vegetable Franky, completely street style. Let's begin making the masala for our Franky, for which here I've got a pan which I'm going to heat up. To the pan, I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of oil. To the hot oil, I'm going to add in crushed garlic, ginger and green chilies. Here I'm taking about 6 to 7 garlic cloves, about an inch of ginger and about 3 green chilies crushed together. What follows next is the Franky Masala or the Chaat Masala. Hang around till the end of this video, I'll share the recipe for this as well. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of this Franky Masala. about half a teaspoon of red chilli powder and about a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder so all the spices are in I'm going to mix them well looks good here I've got about six boiled potatoes which I'm going to add in I'm going to season the potatoes well with salt and about two tablespoons of chopped coriander now it's time to mix all the ingredients really well this mixture needs to be really soft and starchy if you need to add some water feel free to add it Perfect. A quick taste test to find the seasoning. Cannot get any better. Now I'm going to transfer this to a plate and let this cool down completely. Now let's make the dough for our Frankie. For that here I've got about 2 thirds cup of flour or maida, 1 third cup of atta or wheat flour, about a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of oil. And now I'm going to add in water to make a really soft dough. After forming this into a dough, we're going to knead this down for about 3 to 4 minutes. The dough looks great now. I'm going to add this to a bowl and cover this with a cloth and let this rest for about 15 minutes. Next up, we're going to pickle some green chilies. So here I've got about 3 green chilies chopped. I'm going to add in some vinegar to this. If you don't have vinegar, nothing to worry about. You can use some lemon juice as well. Now let this soak in for a minimum of 15 minutes. Now let's come to the ingredient that brings life to any Frankie and that is masala. So you can use chaat masala or buy some Frankie masala or you can make your own Frankie masala as I like to do it. So making Frankie masala is very easy. All you have to do is roast a few spices and then add in some powdered spices and then blend them together to a fine powder. Well, this was a short recap of how I make this Frankie masala at my home. You can also do the same. Find the detailed recipe in the description box down below or you can skip this all together and use chaat masala. Alright, so now it's time to make the rotis for our frankies and uh, you can divide the dough into 4 portions or 6 portions depending upon the size. With 4 portions you can make large frankies, with 6 portions normal sized frankies and uh, I hope that makes sense. And now I'm going to roll this dough out into really thin chapatis. Don't judge me with the shape of this roti because the dough is very soft and sticky and making a really thin uh, chapati without forming a world map is kind of difficult. So bear with me. All you have to do is keep dusting the roti with some flour now and then and start rolling this out. Rolled out and ready looks fine. Now we're going to cook this out. Here I've got a tawai heating up. Make sure the tawai is hot before adding the roti. Otherwise the roti will uh, lose out a lot of moisture. In turn, it will not be as soft as we want it to be. It will be really like papad, I must say. You can also fry these if you want to. You can, you can deep fry these rotis as many people do it. So looks fine, going to flip it up. So all right, as you can see, we only want to cook this until this stage. There is only white spots. Now I'm to make all the chapatis like this. As you can see, everything is now ready. Now all we have to do is assemble our frankies. Here we have the rotis, here we have our masala or the filling, onions to top it up, a little bit of pickled green chilies, our frankie masala and finally our green chutney. Let's begin. First of all, we're going to cook our rotis again. So we're going to cook this with some butter and oil together. Again, point to note, make sure your pan is really hot. That's what brings the amazing flavor in this recipe. Quickly flip this up, 
This doesn't take long to cook at all. High flame for about 30 seconds on each side is more than enough. Looks perfect, time to take it out. Next up in the same pan, we're going to place in a little bit of our potato mixture. So I've just made this into a long cutlet kind of shape. And all we have to do is toast this masala. Flip it up and toast for another minute. The masala is cooked, time to get it out. Perfect, now we're going to top it up with some onions and press the onions down into the masala. Going to add in a few pickled green chilies some Frankie masala this is what brings life to it looks absolutely delicious a little bit of mint chutney that looks delicious doesn't it now we're going to just roll it up so here is my Frankie in it goes Well, basically, if you give me anything to eat, I'll eat happily. But if I get this every day, I'll be blessed. This tastes as amazing as a sweet one does. So make sure you try this out in your home kitchen and share with me how it goes for you. Now that the recipe is over, big update to you guys. I have recently opened a new cooking channel on YouTube that is in the name of Cooking Shooking Hindi. And you guessed it right, I'm posting uh, Hindi recipes on that channel. Basically, the funda is I'm posting very easy, simple three minute recipe videos on that channel. So make sure to check that channel out and subscribe to Cooking Shooking Hindi for very simple, easy, fun recipes. I really hope you like this Frankie recipe. And if you did, make sure to click the like button. It really motivates me to do more and share this video with your friends as well. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to watch more and subscribe. Bye. Take care.